Hi, today I'd like to show you how to work a brioche right leaning cable cross that uh, covers the beginning of the round. So it goes across the beginning of the round marker. Now in order to do this, I'm going to remove my beginning of the round marker and I'm going to take my color B yarn or my dark color yarn, the yarn that I'm purling with and bring it to the back. And I want to be working at the start of my round that I'm knitting, uh, the color that I'm knitting with. So my color A yarn um, or this light colored, light blue yarn. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pass the two, the last two stitches of the round onto my left hand needle. Now the goal here is to rearrange the stitches as if I'm working a right cable cross, but without actually knitting the stitches. So I'm gonna do exactly what I would do to work that cable cross, which is put these first two stitches of the cable onto my stitch holder, and I'm gonna hold that to the back of the work. Now, if I were working the cable, I would now use my light colored yarn to knit this stitch. Instead, I'm going to slip it purl wise onto my right hand needle, and then I'm gonna pick up my stitch holder from the back, slip the first stitch onto my left hand needle, and bring the stitch holder to the front in between the two stitches. And now I'm going to slip that stitch to my right hand needle, all still without working it. And now I'm going to return the stitch that's on my holder to my left hand needle. It's gotten a bit twisted here. There we go. So now I've rearranged these stitches and you can see I again have two of the stitches I worked with, this shawled stitch and the dark blue stitch on my right hand needle and one on my left, which is how I started. And I need to replace my beginning of the round marker. And now I can just begin knitting the left leg of that cable cross. And now I will continue to work all the way around my row. All right, and you can see I'm now nearly back to my beginning of the round marker. So I'm going to work these last two stitches before the cable. And now I have these two stitches that I crossed over and didn't work. So I'm gonna knit into that first leg of the cable and do my slip one yarn over. And there you go, I have worked my cable and I can pick up my other color of yarn from the back and begin my next round. So that is how you work a cable that crosses the beginning of the round. I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching.